One thing that we'll uh, want to use to discuss how weak or strong a weak acid is, because that's going to be fun too. So strong acids are strong, there's that. But then weak acids can, some of them, can, they can be really weak, meaning strong bonds, or they can be really strong weak acids. So there's even a spectrum to the weak acids. Something that will enable us to do that is the acid ionization constant, which is basically just equilibrium constant for weak acids, okay? AKA equilibrium constant for acids. Right, it is K, but it's only for acids when we're talking about this, so we call it the KA. All right, so um, the equilibrium constant, acid ionization constant, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be the same thing. It'll be the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants, right? Okay, so uh, generally what we do is we'll draw the equilibrium expression for a generic weak acid. And when we talk about generic weak acids, we usually just say HA. That's my weak acid, HA. Or, ha. Told you I was going to do it. And it will react just like any acid. It's going to donate if we want to use the Bronsted Lowry definition, and we do for this. It will react with water. It's weak, so it's going to set up equilibrium. <coughs> that H plus is going to be donated to water to make hydronium. And then after it's donated, all you have left is its anion. So A minus. All right, so let's write it. So let's write out Ka equals H3O plus times A minus all over HA. Or, oh. oh, I forgot water. Oh, you didn't? I didn't forget water? Oh, do I, I don't need it. Oh, phew. Good thing I didn't put it then. Yeah, it's the liquid, so it would be a zero order reactant. Phew. Almost had a race. That would have been close. Yep, that's the equilibrium constant expression for a weak acid. Okay, so whatever the weak acid, it could be HF, so that would be F fluoride minus, F minus over HF. It could be acetic acid, HC2H3O2, C2H3O2 minus over there. Okay, so they're all going to take this form.